In this video we're going to take a look at Dire Straits on Compact Disc. Um, dire Straits were pretty big sellers on Compact Disc back in the 80s. Um, I think their catalog started around 1983-84 and uh, Brothers in Arms was one of the biggest selling Compact Discs of all time. This is the debut from 1978. Um, this is the band at their rawest. Um, all of Mark Knopfler's um, guitar tones are clean. Um, I love these discs. Um, really, really cool. Um, this has got down to the water line on it. Water of Love setting me up. Six blade knife. So bound again, and of course the majestic Sultans of Swing in the gallery, Wild West End and Lions. Um, it's a great debut. Um, all the roots are apparent here. Um, kind of Americana, the chicken picking, uh, the blues influences. Uh, the band members here, apart from uh, Mark Knopfler, um, is his brother David. Uh, who played rhythm guitar, uh, John Ainsley on bass, and Pick Withers on drums. Their straights were signed to Vertigo. Uh, phonogram. Yeah. This album was produced by Muff Winwood. This is the back of the CD box. Generic uh, phonogram. A lot of their catalogue had that um, similar um, layout at the time. The lyrics are in the booklet, um, but there's not much else really. Um, this is one of the uh, 80s editions. Uh, album number two is called Communique, and uh, not Communique, like some people call it. Um, it's a kind of more relaxed affair. Um, it's not as it's not as engaging or as exciting as the first album. Um, it was recorded in Nassau at Compass Point Studios in 1979. Um, at this time, uh, Bob Dylan was recording uh, "Slow Train Coming," so Mark Knopfler and Pick Withers appear on that album, and it's. A Dylan album I really like. Um, on this one you've got Once Upon a Time in the West, News, Where Do You Think You're Going, Communique, Lady Writer, Angel of Mercy, Portobello Bell, Single Handed Sailor, Follow Me Home. Um, yeah. Just the back of the box again. It's not bad. Um, you know, it wouldn't be my, my go to. Sounds like a rattlesnake. Again, the booklet. It's a band shot. Lyrics. That's it, really. Not much else. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's kind of the second album. And um, it's not bad, but the first one is actually better. You know, I'd rather listen to the first one. Yeah. Album number three from 1980 is called Making Movies. This is where the gears start to shift. Um, Making Movies is a great album because it has the epic tunnel of love and the fantastic Romeo and Juliet, uh, Skate Away, Express All Love, Hand in Hand, Solid Rock and Les Boys, which is a bit of comedy about a German cabaret. Um, this is um, a cracker. Um, it weighs in under 40 minutes and there's only seven tracks on it. But it's um, argu uh, arguably one of the <laughs> uh, one of the best albums by Dire Straits. Um, 
at this stage um, Mark and brother David um, uh, came to blows and David was sacked or he left during the sessions uh, for making movies um, in New York and uh, that was the end of that it was Mark's band and you better believe it so yeah, making movies is a classic and a must have for any Dire Straits fan. Album number four is 1982's Love Over Gold. Now, this is where things get a bit both strange and ambitious. Um, I love Love Over Gold, um, especially because it has Telegraph Road and it's a 14 minute song and uh, I remember hearing it on the radio back in the 80s and it was like the long song by Dire Straits um, this is a very ambitious album uh, and I think it's the peak of um, Mark's um, writing um, there's lots of different um, themes and styles it's quite a dark album um, it only has five tracks Telegraph Road, Private Investigations, Industrial Disease, which is kind of great. Love Over Gold, beautiful track, and It Never Rains. Um, the more I listen to this, and I've been listening to it for a long, long time, since the mid-80s, um, there's a big Dylan influence, um, especially the way Mark sings. Um, you know, there's no doubt about that. Um, Private Investigations is almost whispered and uh, it was a number two single in September 1982 yeah, so the booklet um, again has the lyrics um, these are um, PC screens um, uh, just like this very very serious stuff uh, somebody having a cigarette maybe it's to do with um, digital recording I'm not sure this up here 30 inches per second real artist yeah I'm not sure could be a digital re digital recording um just two new members here Hal Lindes on guitar and Alan Clark keyboards I think he was ex Galar and Lyle uh, it's actually produced by Mark and engineered by Neil Dorfman um, just vibraphones on it as well the marimbas and played by Mike Miniri and uh, yeah it's it is good music it's uh, haunting some people kind of lost it at that stage they call ah oh, you know I think it's the pinnacle of Dire Straits musical achievement um, for a band that started out playing blues and chicken picking country uh, Love Over Gold is light years away and um, some of Mark's finest guitar playing is on this uh, also around this time he wrote Private Dancer, uh, which was never really um, recorded by Dire Straits. Um, but Tina Turner had a hit with it. Um, there's a couple of extra tracks floating around that became part of the uh, Local Hero soundtrack, which is definitely worth checking out. Um, it's amazing music on that. So yeah, I think, I think Mark Knopfler was at his peak around this time. Um, there's another B-side as well. Of private investigations and that's called badges posters stickers and t-shirts kind of a stray cat's nod with some superb um, rockabilly guitar yeah okay next is alchemy and that was a big deal back in 1983 it was released as a double LP a double cassette double CD and even a, a movie was made um, it was shot at Hammersmith Odeon in London um, and it was released in 1984 properly um, this has got the sleeve the outer sleeve I remember having the cassettes at one stage I don't know what happened to the box so you got part one part two um, here we go discs 
Uh, nice package, nice artwork, kind of a collage, some live photographs, Salendes, Mark with Chet Atkins, nylon string for private investigation. Uh, there, there you go. All the arrows. I don't know what it means. Second booklet. Mel Collins plays a saxophone on this. Um, there's Mark with his black Schechter telly. Awesome guitars. Mark with red boots and a headband. Um, Alan Clark and uh, Mark's red Schechter Strat that he played on Live Aid. There's actually a passage, uh, the quiet part of uh, Telegraph Rule in the live album, um, where Alan Clark almost stops playing uh, as he's playing the passage, and you can hear a fan in the background shouting, Why don't you play it, Clark? <laughs> and it comes on. You know, he's just having kind of a little bit of a break in the music, you know, the tempo slows and stops, and then bang, why don't you play it, Clark? <laughs> if you listen out, you'll hear it. So that's alchemy uh, live and next it's 1985 and this is brothers in arms this is the dire straits album that everybody every man woman and child was listening to back in the 80s um, one of the biggest selling compact discs of all time the tour was sponsored by Philips Dire Straits Live in 85 was the slogan. Um, this is light years ahead of um, or away from their early stuff. Um, okay, there's no doubt that it's an iconic album, um, but it's very smooth, very streamlined. Um, oh yes, and it's got the fantastic national um, steel um, bridge on the disc which is absolutely beautiful um, this was the big one uh, so far away um, it's that's probably the weakest track on the whole album um, it's long it doesn't really go anywhere um, money for nothing we all know what that's like. Walk of Life, that's a great little country track. Your latest trick, um, again, very cool, very jazzy, great song. Why Worry, um, nice little ballad. Um, right Across the River, um, that's another good one. It kind of has a, a theme of soldiers and war going through it. The Man's Too Strong, that's an acoustic uh, song with some synthesizers and all we hear of Alan Clark's grand piano. Um, you know, it's kind of, a lot of the songs here don't have solos, like So Far Away doesn't really have a solo. Um, the guitar has got this strange kind of chorusy effect on it. Um, you know, it's it's very, very streamlined, very slick, you know, nothing sticks out. Um, one World, again, that's one of the interesting tracks. And of course, Brothers in Arms, which is... Great track, very moody. Uh, here you go. That's a great photograph. The National. Um, the drummer on this album is um, actually Omar Hakim, um, who used to play with Sting, Weather Report. Um, I don't know, he was brought in and he replaced Terry Williams' drums. I think Terry Williams just plays the opening of Money for Nothing. I don't think Williams was very happy about that. Um, I forgot to say that Williams joined the band um, when Pick Withers left. So Williams was with them from late 1982. Um, and it's very slick. And it's it's one of the only Dire Straits albums where it sounds like there's no drummer. It's it's like a drum machine. It, it's just too slick. Um, you know, they don't engaging. Um, now, you know, I'm not knocking it, I like Brothers in Arms and I do listen to it, but out of all the albums that came before it, 
it's the most sterile. Um, it's also a digital recording. I think it was recorded on Sony um, Dash recorder and uh, recorded again. I think Air Studios, Montserrat, and uh, there's a lot of photographs from that time you'll find online um, where the band are out in the sun recorded in winter of 1984 out there uh, there's some good articles on it as well in uh, Sound on Sound magazine if you ever want to check that out um, so yeah that's the uh, Gargantian juggernaut <laughs> bird in arms okay um, this is the ubiquitous um, compilation from 1988 and it's called Money for Nothing. Um, I actually bought this on CD when it came out back then. That's actually 30 years ago. Um, great cover. It's from the Money for Nothing video. And there's Mark playing a Les Paul. Um, another change as well in that period is where his guitar starts getting darker and more distorted um, and move away from the chicken picking and more into the ZZ Top um, so yeah that's the compilation and the uh, again it's got a cool disc very nice The 80s uh, was all about, you know, digital recording and Dire Straits seemed to sell very well to people with CD players. It's got Sultans of Swing, uh, Down to the Waterline, um, Portobello Bell Live, that's from the Alchemy um, concerts, but it was never released um, um, on the um, live double album. Twisting by the Pool remix, that's from 1982. Um, it was on an EP, Tunnel of Love, Romeo and Juliet, um, Where Do You Think You're Going? That's actually a different mix than the album mix. Uh, Walk of Life, Private Investigations, Telegraph Road, Live Remix. Um, it's just a live version from Alchemy, but it kind of fades at 12 minutes. It's a bit bizarre, really. Um, yeah, I mean they were showcasing the band live, fair enough. Money for Nothing, cut down version, and so was Brother in Arms. They were just edited for CD. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a... I mean, you know, you get you get everything here, you know, that you need. But, um, you know, Telegraph Road Live is a bit strange. Yeah. On this particular compilation, there's the album, get the lyrics. Uh, there you go. Okay, so now it's 1991, and um, it's six years since Brothers in Arms and Dire Straits got back together. Um, Mark has been very busy, of course, uh, doing soundtracks. He did an album with Chet Atkins, Neck and Neck, and he also did the um, Notting Hillbillies, and we've done some pub dates. <laughs> he was trying to get away from the uh, stadiums and stuff. Um, on every street, it's of its time. Um, the guitar here is pretty distorted. He's playing pences at this time, uh, pences sores um, with humbuckers and the bridge, and you know it's a very, it's it's a, it's more of a rock sound. Um, it's got twelve tracks. It's long. Um, the artwork is desperate. I mean, okay, it's a guy sitting back from a mixing desk with boots. I don't know if it's Mark or not, but in the same picture in the middle. Um, makes no sense. Uh, it's a terrible, terrible album cover. When it came out in '91, I ran out and bought it. I thought the um, cover should have been something like this, you know, like a stamp or something. Um, I saw Dire Straits for the first time on that tour in uh, Dublin, it was great. Calling Elvis is on it. It's a very, very long song. On every street, that's one of the highlights uh, when it comes to you. Um, kind of meandering, kind of country rock, um, bluesy stuff. 
bit like JJ Kaloni Slicker, Fate to Black, The Bug. It's kind of like an update of Walk of Life. Um, you and your friend, kind of dark, bluesy, heavy fuel. Again, never really liked that. I thought it was just a throwaway. Um, Iron Hand is a an acoustic track. Ticket to Heaven. Um, it's not bad. It's nice, you know. Kind of kind of orchestra and stuff on it. Um, my parties. And then um, Planet of New Orleans, again, one of the highlights of the album. And How Long is the very last track. Um, it's just, you know, the CD is filled with stuff. Um, for me, I'd hardly ever listen to this now. Um, apart from the three tracks on it that I really like. Um, I know I'll probably be slated for saying this, like, but for me, I think Dare Straits. Big Brothers in Arms is kind of the peak of the era. Um, this was a big tour, it was sponsored by Philips, um, it was extra musicians, um, Guy Fletcher, keyboards, who also joined for Brothers in Arms, um, Jeff Parquero drummed on this, it was one of the last albums he drummed on, before his untimely death in 1992, um, yeah, so, I think Danny Cummings on percussion. Um, I think Paul Franklin is on it. Um, um, Paul Franklin is playing the pedal steel, which gives a nice um, touch. Uh, Phil Palmer's also here. A uh, Chris White saxophone. Um, Chris was also on the uh, Brothers in Arms tour along with Jack Sonny. See, I'm forgetting all this. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of jumping ahead. Uh, you know, this is slick, very slick. Dire Straits country music was getting very popular as well at the time. Um, so yeah, I can see why it was pretty successful. This is um, on the night. It's the live tour um, for on every street. Um, calling Elvis Walk of Life, Heavy Fuel, Romeo and Juliet, Private Investigations. Uh, at this stage now, the songs are kind of more. There's a lot more going on in them. The pedal steel definitely adds to them. Uh, Mark's tone is very thick, um, very dark, nearly everything is distorted. You know, all the tones sound like the song Brothers in Arms. Your latest trick is on it, on every street, you and your friend, money for nothing, Brothers in Arms. Um, there was actually an EP came out and um, you had a double box and you put it in here. Um, I do have the EP somewhere, I'm not sure what I did with the box. But uh, yeah, um, that's not bad. You know, it's I prefer the live um, album than on every street, to be honest. Um, so yeah, and there was um, a video come out of this, and it's since been released on DVD. So this is the European or the World Tour, whatever they did back in ninety one, ninety two, and finally um, Dire Streets live at the BBC. Um, this came out in 1995. Um, these are sessions going back, um, back a good bit. Um, David Knopfler is still in the band at this stage. Down to the Waterline, Six Blade Knife, Water of Love, Wild West Inn, Sultans of Swing, Lions, What's the Matter Baby, and Tunnel of Love. Um, I think that's from another, another date. Um, it's just dire straits in a small, intimate setting. Um, 1978, actually, live in concert. And the um, Tunnel of Love is from 1981. I don't really listen to it that much. Um,
Mm. Yeah, it kind of, you know, for me it ends, it kind of goes full circle really, you know, like this, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's, there was other compilations came out after this. Um, I can't remember the other one, but um, and it's the best of Mark Knopfler and Our Streets. Uh, but they're still only compilations. There's been no more studio albums, and there probably never will be. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, that's Our Streets on CD, and uh, that's all I gotta say. So uh, thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you wish. And take care.